Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Rose Review, and today I have my Stitch Fix. So it's been quite a while since I received a Stitch Fix. I stopped ordering them, I just felt that the styles just weren't for me. I felt they were too expensive. And I just liked other clothing subscription boxes more. Um, Stitch Fix never has anything on sale. I don't know why uh, that is, but they never have anything on sale. To me, the things are a little pricey. And a lot of it is like real, like almost like business casual. And I'm not looking for that right at the moment. So I had stopped them for a while just to explore other companies and other clothing boxes. But I am excited because they did change a few things. Um, they have where you can shop by category and have items that you want picked out and put in your box. You still only get the five items though. So that is one of the things that it will still only contain the five items, but um, at least you know you're getting something you wanna try on and hopefully it will also help your stylist pick out things that are more for you. It is a $20 styling fee, if you don't know anything about Stitch Fix, and anything you purchase, that $20 goes to that. Okay. So I do see my bundle here. And it does say shop by category. We curated each category for you so it's easy to find what's right. That's something new. And then I see a bag in the bottom here. If I have to guess, these are shoes. See, and this is the problem. This is kind of the problem with Stitch Fix. <laughs> I have put in my notes before to not send shoes and accessories. Again, I don't think the shoes from what I've seen are worth the price. And there's just so many places I get shoes that are on sale and cheaper and cuter. So it's just a little rant. So a shop by category, this is new, new, new. Guess what? Now shop featured categories created with our top picks for you. So even easier to find what's right. Like what you see, instantly buy it. Shipping returns and exchanges are free. Stop endlessly searching. Just pick a category and start shopping. All right, and they do give you this to send back anything you don't want. And they always give you a sneak peek and styling tips along with a Little note from the stylist. Hi there, Rue. It's a great day for a fix. I hope you are doing well and this fix is a bright spot in your day. Let's get this fix started with a white denim skirt from Just Black. I thought it would be just really versatile and will come in handy in the hot Florida sun. Pair with the cold shoulder knit top and the skirt and finish with the look of the Market and Spruce strappy sandals. These shoes go with everything. Next, I sent you a dress that's easy to throw on and go. Pair these with sandals and the dress and layer with a denim jacket on top. Last, I included a dress that is so flattering and comfortable. Just fun to try on. Let me know what you think. And okay, so the first thing I see here is this top. Just a plain top that has a navy blue stripe. Oh, that's cute. And the arms have like this peekaboo sleeve here. I have a maroon one that's almost like this and I really like it. It's very soft, like super, super soft. That's really cute. So we're off to a good start. Definitely off to a good start. Let's see what this is. Colette, it's the Romney Cold Shoulder Knit Top and it is $36. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's actually not bad. So that's, I like that. Um, next is this dress. So this is kind of something I was talking about. This is a perfect dress for work and I am just not looking for this. Um, I think the style is okay. 
I think the colors are okay, but to me, this isn't summer. This is fall, winter. Um, and it does have this tie here. Sometimes these do not fit me well. They sit weird on my torso because I do have a short torso, but we'll try it and we'll see what we think. This is the Daniel Rain Viksha Thai Detail Dress, and this is $78. So yeah, um, we'll see about this. I'm thinking it's gonna be a no. It will definitely be tried on, I'm not excited. Okay, the next thing we have here, this looks pretty long. Oh, we do have a very long like maxi dress. The pattern is super cute. It has these flowers on it with this cute detail. We have some kind of like ruffle type edge on the sleeve. And then it is a very, very long dress. <laughs> very long. Um, hmm. I like this, but I am having a feeling this is going to be way too big. I am 5'3", and a lot of times these dresses uh, are so long on me that I can't wear them. But I'm looking forward to try it. I do like it. And so here's hoping. We'll see. It's got a really nice feel to it, too. It is like really a nice summer dress that could be worn just about anywhere. And let's read about that. Um, it's the Lovapella Tori Knit Maxi Dress. It is $78 as well. Okay. Hmm. Next thing we have here ugh, is this denim skirt that looks like a bell. It is a white denim skirt. Just some pockets. There's not really any kind of detail on it except for the raw edge. This is the Just Black Denim Skirt and it is $58. All right, and then lastly is these market and spruce sandals which are they're pretty they're cute these are the irene strappy sandals in gray and these are 49 dollars now i don't i wouldn't pay 49 dollars for these i can find these at tj maxx or ross or um a lot of other places for something that, like this style for a lot less. Um, I'm always getting sales for DSW shoes. We have something called a rack room shoe here where it, they always have BOGOs and I can go to Macy's and find a pair of sandals that are cheaper than $50. Mm. So yeah, not a big fan of this. And I think this is why I stopped Stitch Fix. In my profile, I had said I never wanted shoes because I knew I wouldn't buy them. From what I've seen for their shoes, they are way overpriced and I just wouldn't pay that. And I've said before in my profile, do not send me shoes and do not send me accessories. I will not purchase either one of those. It's kind of like a wasted item in the bag. That's just me. Some people really like to have their shoes sent and the different styles. So it's just personally, I know um, I can get shoes other places. And so I would rather just have the clothing. So there we have it. Um, yeah, we'll try it on and we'll see how it goes. I'm not feeling very optimistic on some of these, but um, yeah, I'll be back with the try on. So here is the denim skirt. It's actually a lot cuter than I thought it was. I just paired it with something that I had in my closet. It is really comfortable. It's really stretchy. 
Um, I do like it. I don't think it does anything for my backside. Uh, it's okay, but anyhow, it is very comfortable, very cute. I like it a lot more than I thought. Um, but this is something I might try to find at Kohl's or yeah, this might be something I would try to look for at Kohl's or something along that, or maybe at Macy's on sale. Um, because I think it's a little overpriced. We shall see. On to the next. Okay, here is the dress. Um, yeah, there's, nope. <laughs> I am not loving this dress. I don't like the color of it. Um, it's okay if I was at work. Um, it's, it's just, it's just okay. Like I said, at work I could wear this and be very comfortable in it. Um, but it's just not me. Uh, hmm. I like the bottom. I like the kind of like u-shaped it has here on the bottom i wish it had some pockets i don't like pockets i like pockets <laughs> or maybe oh it does have buttons so you can unbutton um give it a little extra something but yeah it is just not my favorite so i'm gonna try the other dress on and I'll be back. Okay, and here is the maxi dress. I like the detail here and I don't mind the sleeve. I think it's kind of cute, whimsical, kind of fun. It does have the kind of crisscross top here. Um, you can kind of, if you want to be real, you can kind of close it all the way or open up a little bit if you have like a little tank underneath. And the length isn't horrible. I don't know if you can see, I am wearing some heels. It does go right to my ankle. And that's with some heels on, but it does have a decent length. I think if you were about five, 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 seven, this dress would be spectacular and amazing. I'm gonna try it on with the flats that they sent. Be right back. Okay, so again, here's the length of the dress, which I just think is too long on me. I wish it was a little shorter. Um, and then here are the shoes. The shoes are really comfortable. They're cute, they fit nice. But like I said, I'm not paying $50 for them. No, not for a sandal. That's just me. Anyhow, I have one more thing to try on and I'll be right back. Okay, the last thing I have here is this top with this little peekaboo shoulder. I really like this top. I think it has a nice feel to it. It isn't too tight, it isn't too loose, but it feels really nice. It's very soft. Um, so I really like this top a lot. I like the neckline here, it's kind of scooped, but I like the little detail on it. So the stripe kind of goes the opposite way of these stripes. Then here we have the little detail there. Um, this is something I could get away with wearing to work and not have to worry. It's kind of got the sleeves here. I don't know what you call them. Like a kimono type of sleeve almost. But if I raise my arm, my hands, the shirt isn't pulling up or anything that's not showing. It's not showing anything that I don't want to be shown. So yeah, I really like the shirt. Here's the back. Back is just plain. Doesn't have anything special or extra in the back. So there we go. There are my five items. I'll be back in a minute for the recap. All right guys, welcome back. So again, $50, not gonna happen. Those are going back in the box for sure. This denim skirt was a lot cuter on than I had thought. And I am gonna try to look for one, but I'm gonna look for one maybe in um, Kohl's or somewhere like that. This dress here was really cute if 
it was just a little shorter. I would consider it, but even then for $78, I probably would have passed. Um, this dress did nothing for me. I didn't care for the colors. Um, it was kind of just muted. This Daniel Rain dress was also $78, which I would not pay $78 for that. Um, maybe if it was on sale for $20, I would consider it. The only thing I think I'm gonna keep is this top. Um, it is $36, but with my 20 already, I can see maybe spending the extra $16. You do get a 25% discount if you keep all items. If I did buy everything in this box, it would be $299 minus the 25% for $74.75. Um, then take away the $20. So if I bought everything in the box, it would be $204. So it's almost a $100 difference. Um, but yeah, I'm not keeping everything in the box. <laughs> so there is my box. What did you think? What items were your favorite? Did you like that dress? Would you pay $78 for either one of them? Let me know in the comments below. I really do love to hear from you guys. And yeah, if you haven't already, I would love if you hit that like and subscribe button and help my channel grow. Also, I just wanna take the time to say thank you so much for being here. It does mean the world to me. And guys, until next time.